Hi, I'm Marshall. I'm the owner of Going Gear and I'm here in our store in Smyrna, Georgia. And this is the extended review of the Mech Army PT series. All right, here we are with all four models of the Mech Army PT series. You got the PT-10, PT-14, PT-16, PT-18. Since these came out, these have been some of our best-selling models, some of our most popular, most well-liked models, and for good reason. They're really, really cool lights. You got built-in micro USB charging, nice high output out of compact lights, good interface on them now that they've made some revisions, and uh, overall, they're just really nice lights. So let's go over them a little bit. This is actually the third time that I've tried to make this video, and it's because of this light right here, the PT-16. When it originally came out, it did not have the best interface in the world, so they revised it pretty quickly. I was going to do another video, then they made another revision to where now it'll take 18350 batteries. So you can actually put 18350 batteries in here, which are a little bit larger than CR123s. And, you know, it was kind of frustrating <laughs> because I had to remake this video three times. But it's really nice as a dealer and as someone selling these because these have only been out for about seven months and uh, they've already revised them three times in the case of the PT-16 or revised it twice actually, which is really cool. They go through and they make these new versions of these lights responding to customer feedback really, really quickly. So if people are like, hey, you know, I don't really like this and they're like, hey, that's a good idea. They incorporate it really quickly, which is very awesome to see from a company and is definitely not common throughout this industry or any other industry, honestly. So anyway, let's talk about these lights. So we've got four different lights. We've got the PT-16, which is by far the most popular one. It was the original one, and they came out with the other three. PT-16 runs off of a CR123 battery. All of these come with lithium-ion batteries. So they all come with lithium-ion batteries. They have built-in charging, built-in micro USB charging. And the PT-16 comes with a CR123 size battery, which is a 16340 lithium-ion battery. You've got a 10440 in the PT-10, which is a AAA. You've got a AA in the PT-14, or a 14500 lithium-ion battery, and an 18650 in the PT-18. On the PT-16, you're at 1,000 lumens, and uh, beam distance is 149 meters. Got the other boxes here. You're at 800 lumens and 126 meters on the PT-10. PT-14 is 900 lumens, 132 meters, and then 1,000 lumens and 140 meters on the PT-18. So all pretty similar. It all comes down to what kind of size and shape you want and what kind of battery you want to be able to put in there. And uh, you can see you've got some slimmer bodies on the different models. It just depends on what kind of configuration you want. But as far as the specs, 800 versus 1,000 lumens, your eyes are going to have trouble seeing a massive difference between those two numbers. All right, so I've got the 16 here. We're going to use it for most of the video. I just wanted to show you the size difference since they do all have pretty much the same features, same interface and everything. So you have this nice flap that goes over the front and they actually have the other models in there so you can kind of see information about it. Got some good specs on the back. As always, you can find the full specs on our site, goinggear.com. Let's go ahead and open it up, show you what you get in addition to the light. Got this little box here on the bottom of some accessories. Got the light itself. Let's pop that out. We're going to set that down for right now. Stick the packaging to the side and uh, knock half the crap off my desk <laughs> and then show you what you get in here. One thing to note is that these do have built-in micro USB charging. They do not come with a micro USB cable. I'm guessing they didn't want to charge the extra dollar or whatever it would add to the retail price. And they figure most people have them lying around the house. And they're right. I've got like 20 within arm's reach right now. But they do not come with a micro USB cable. Just something to notice or note. Uh, so you've got a few spare O-rings. If you happen to trash your O-rings, you can spare or you can replace those. You've got a nice sturdy lanyard. Good attachment point on there. User manual. you got the operation in there. So it goes over the specs. So you can see you've got some different outputs on here. Um, actually, it looks like I've got the, the wrong... PT series <laughs> manual in here, but they are all the same. Oh, and wait, they've got different charts for each one. So that's kind of nice. So you've got the, the 10, the 14, the 16, and the 18 all in one manual. So you can see the specs for all the different ones. That's kind of nice. Uh, but this is the one from the box from the PT-16. And then you have a little piece of paper that says, please remove the protect sheet at the end of battery before use. What it's talking about is there's a little isolation disc that comes in the bottom of these. I think I might have already taken it out of the PT-16, but let's take a look if I've got it in the 10. I think I've already taken it out of all of these because I already shot the outdoor portion. 
I did. Anyway, there's a little plastic black disc that goes in the bottom of these. They've used white on some models. But just keep in mind, you've got to remove that before the light will actually operate. That's one of the most common calls that we get about the Mech Army lights, including the Luminex, the, uh, the little keychain size lights. Hey, my light's not working. And we're like, hey, take out that plastic disc, and then problem solved. Uh, so here is the 16. Let's actually put them all. We'll do the 10, the 14, the 16, and the 18, just so you can see the size difference and get an idea of the difference in size in the battery tubes and everything. You see you've got the same head on all of them. It's just going to be your battery tubes that are going to be different. And then obviously the connection point to the light itself. Pretty cool pineapple knurling on there. So you got some good grip on there. It gives it a nice look. And you have a triple LED in here. So you got three XPG LEDs or XPG2 LEDs. You got that nice optic that gives it a really smooth, clean, even beam. Stainless steel bezel on there. Good place to tail stand. You got a nice solid wide base there on the bottom. You got the attachment point for the lanyard. So that's what the holes in the tail cap are. So you got the, uh, you can attach a lanyard there if you want to. But that'll give you an idea of the size between all the different ones. So like I said, the 16 is overwhelmingly the, overwhelmingly the most popular. For us, it goes 16, 18, 14, 10. Um, but you can see if you want that small body, you want that lighter weight, you've got the 10. If you want the AA size, you've got this one. And if you want the additional runtime, that's what's really nice about the 18. You've got the little bit larger size. Some people don't like the more compact lights. They want something that fills out the hand a little bit better. Then you have the 18 if you happen to uh, want the little bit larger size and the better run times. So let's set these to the side and we're gonna use the 16 for the rest of this part of the video since they all have the same interface now. Uh, let me go and open it up and show you the inside. We'll go ahead and pull out the battery. So they come, they all come with lithium ion rechargeable batteries and they're nice lithium ion rechargeable batteries. So they're branded as Mech Army but we haven't had any complaints and we've been selling a lot of these lights. Uh, so they have good quality lithium ion batteries in there and if you do have another good quality lithium ion battery you can stick it in there and it can charge and like i said these will fit 18350 batteries so that's an 18350 battery that you can see fits in there no problem so it's pretty cool you know that we've got dealers or they've got dealers and and other people and customers telling them things that they could fix about these lights or things that they can change or small improvements that they could they could make and they're actually doing it so it's really really nice to see that but it comes with a 16340 size battery. You've got a little bit of room in there. That's not a big deal. It doesn't matter. But let's go ahead and put that tail cap back on. So the built-in charging is on the head side of the light. So you just take that head off and you've got a micro USB port there in the threads. So I've got a cable over here. Let me see if I can drag it across my desk, get it through all the piles of lights and stuff. And uh, we're going to go ahead and plug it in. And you can see, there you go, you can see it turns red while it's charging, and then when it's done, it'll turn green. But I charged this not too long ago, I just used it a little bit, but so it's got a full charge on it, or an almost full charge for the purposes of the video. Let me go ahead and tighten that back on. Alright, I actually noticed while I was doing that, that this one actually had the disc in there. So I tried to use it and I was like, hey, why is the light not working? So I took it off and uh, this is the disc that comes in the PT-16. So you can see, just make sure you take that out of the tail cap or the light will not work. All right, the interface on here is all controlled by this side switch. There's no other switches. There's no rotary rings. There's no turning the head or anything like that, which I really, really like. I'm a big fan. I'm a big proponent of single-handed interfaces where they're easy to find switches, easy to switch with the different modes, and you can find the switch pretty easily. You've got the, the uh, flat surface on there, and the switch is definitely noticeably a different texture from the rest of the light, so it's pretty easy to find in the dark. Anyway, the interface on here, so press it once. It'll turn the light on and low. Double click it from off, it'll go straight to the max output. While it's on, press and hold, it'll cycle through your outputs. And then from off, you can triple click for strobe. Press and hold while it's in strobe and it'll go into SOS. And then from off, you can also press and hold and it'll go into a momentary of the max output. So you can see when you release it, it turns it off. So really nice interface, really well refined over the original one. They listen to dealers, they listen to customers and they made this a much more usable, much more user-friendly light. So, same interface on all the PT series models. Let's go over it again real quick. So do a single press and it will go into your lowest output. Double click, it'll go into the highest. 
Triple, it'll go into strobe. Press and hold for momentary of the max output from off. And then while you have it on, press and hold and it'll cycle through your different outputs. And then SOS, you saw how to get to it from strobe. Really nice interface, really nice light. You got the built-in charging, you got the nice compact size. This guy's giving you a thousand lumens on max output. You got that triple optic, which as you'll see when we go outside, produces a really nice, smooth, clean, even beam, very floody, lighting up a wide area. If you want a distance light, these are a bad choice for that, depending on what you mean by distance light. This is something I don't really touch on in many videos, but we have a lot of people coming into the store saying, hey, I need a light that can go a long distance. And we've learned over the years that that is something that needs to be qualified very, very quickly because to long distance to a lot of people may need 100 feet, which pretty much any light that we sell can do and do well. So it depends on what you mean by a distance light. This thing will get out to 100 yards and get out there pretty well. Beyond that, it's not going to do so well, but it can get out there pretty well. So if you mean 100 yards as a distance light, then yeah, this absolutely is one. If you mean 500 yards or 500 meters for a distance light, yeah, this isn't going to get out there. So you'll see better when we go outside. This makes it out to 100 meters or 100 yards pretty well. It's a nice little light and same for this entire series. It just depends on what kind of configuration you want. So let's go ahead and take all these outside and we'll show you how they do. All right, I got all the Mech Army models outside. Got the rest of them right next to me. Got the big 40 mag light that I always use as a control. Let's go and try out that mag light first. Bush right there is about 30 feet away. Talk house down there on the lake is about 100 feet away. All right, let's try out the PT-10 first. Let's start with the little guy. All right, there it is on one of the lower outputs. You see, really spread out beam. Nice even beam out of this. That's what you get with that triple optic. And we'll let it cycle through the different outputs. So there it is on the max output. A lot of light, a lot of spread out light coming out of this little light. So just a single 10440 powering that, pretty impressive. Let's zoom in down there on the, uh, on the lake just so you can see that a little bit better. So 100 feet away, tiny little 10440 light, lighting everything up really, really well. Nice, really wide, even beam. Let's try out the 14 next. We're going to start out on high. Still, really wide beam, really smooth and even. And honestly, you're not gonna see a massive difference between all of these. It just kind of depends on which battery you want, what kind of battery life you wanna get, and what kind of other batteries you wanna be able to put in here. So let's zoom in. So you can see, very similar to what we just saw. And then we'll cycle through the other outputs. And here is the 16. So there it is on max output. We'll zoom in. It's going to look like I'm pretty much using the same light every time. <laughs> Some slight differences in the intensity, but not massive. And the way our eyes see light, you're not going to see a huge difference between 600 or 800 or 1,000 lumens. We'll cycle through the different outputs on this one. Just so you can see what those look like. And then finally, we got the 18. Let's try that one out. So this one has the highest lumen count uh, up there with the PT-16. We'll shine it around and actually, actually do them side by side. So we'll do the 18 over here on the right, 16 on the left. And you can see pretty much the same light. Looks like slightly more intense on the 18 because of that 18650. But same beam, and you get the same lower outputs and everything. We'll cycle through those. Okay, we'll see what these can do at a longer distance. All right, got the four Mech Army PT series lights out here. Let's go ahead and start out with the PT-10 again first. The boat that is normally over there fell down. I haven't picked it back up, but that's 20 feet away. Got a couple targets set up out there. One is at 50 yards, one is 100 yards, tree line beyond is 130 yards. So these are meant to be pretty floody beams. They're not gonna give you any crazy beam distance, but uh, you know what, both of my targets fell down. <laughs> Let me go fix that. All right, got the targets back up. Let's try that again. There we go, there's our targets. So the first one is 50 yards, the second one is 100 yards, and the tree line beyond is 130 yards. This thing is powered by a single 10440 and it makes it out to the 50 yards for sure. Still the 100 yards pretty well 
and uh, you can sort of see the lighter parts of the tree line beyond. Really impressive for such a compact light running off of just a 10 440. Let me zoom back out and let's try out the PT14 next. Again, really similar performance on this, but you do get a little bit more output. So you can see things are lit up just a little bit better. So you got the 50 yards, 100 yards, tree line beyond 130 yards. Actually cycle through the outputs on this one. Just so you can see what those look like at distance. All right, here is the PT-16. So there's the PT-16. We'll zoom in on that. Seems like I'm using the same light over and over, <laughs> but I promise I'm not. It really was the 10 and the 14, and this is the 16. All right, let's try out the 18 now. Big 18651. So there is the 18. So let's zoom in on those. So you can see what it looks like out there. 50 yards, 100 yards. So the 100 yard one is that right, right there. And then tree line beyond. You can see the lighter parts of the trunks of the trees. Really nice beams on these. I like how spread out they are. They light up a wide area once. I like that in my flashlights. And the triple LED with the optics does a great job at that. All right, let me cycle through the outputs on the 18 as well. Really cool lights. You got the built-in charging, they come with the batteries. You got the nice form factor, neat design on them. Triple LED, the optic on there, really great all around lights. My personal preference is the 16 for sure. And based on sales, that is you guys' preference as well, but the other ones still do pretty well. So if you wanna be able to use other types of batteries, you know, you've got all those different options, but you can see the performance is gonna be really similar from light to light. It just depends on how big you want it to be and uh, which battery you want it to take but they have the same features, the same interface, and all of that. So there you go. That is the Mech Army PT series, the PT-10, the PT-14, the PT-16, and the PT-18. If you like them, you can buy them from me at goinggear.com. Any questions or comments, you can reach me in the comments or any of my guys at goinggear.com. As always, get going and start something. Thanks for watching.